Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I'm in the engine bay of my Volkswagen T4 transporter van. And right down here, where you see these couple of cable ties, this is the gear linkage down here. Well, this is this is the link that goes into the gearbox, and these are the two linkages. This one, this bar here, below my finger, and this bar over here. They're the gear linkages that go back to the gear stick. So this one here goes front to back. And this one here just goes up and down, so it pivots about a point in here. If I can get right down in here. It pivots in that in that hole there. So you can see that rubber has gone a bit crusty, and what happened was the back of it fell out, and then there was nothing stopping this whole linkage just going sideways over to the left, and then this ball would jump out of this thing here, this little um, selector box, whatever it is, so th this thing rises up and down and goes um, in and out um, towards the camera and back from the camera, but I lost the up and down bit. So this is neutral at the moment, that's it in first, that's it in second, that's it in third. That's it in fourth. That's it in fifth. And that's it in reverse. So it's back in neutral again there. Whenever I was driving, the gear stick just went kind of really sloppy between some gears. Not all of them, it seemed to go like if you're going from first into second, it would it would pull okay. So when you were going from second into third, you just couldn't find third at all. And you might end up in fifth or you might end up back in first. So I made up this piece of stick here. Um, this is just a coolant, I think it's a coolant hose or coolant pipe. And it, it just gave me a means to clamp on. If you look at the, this, there's a bracket here and then there's a coolant hose here. Um, I was able to clamp on, and they're not, they're not tight, but they're just holding this little piece of wood in place. And when I cut that off, you'll see, you'll see what's going on. So we'll just give that a snip. I'm a terrible man for trying to save cable ties. I hate plastics. I think cable ties are really useful, but I hate plastics. So I hate, I hate them being single use. I think plastics are wonderful generally. So when they're single use, it just annoys me. So I just put a Stanley knife blade or some other sharp pointy thing in there, and that will help me just release the tab on the cable tie. I don't think I've ever bought, no, I'm sure I have bought cable ties at some point, but I don't really like buying them these reasons. The more you buy, the more you tend to use them. Okay, so then there's the stick. Now I have another cable tie on the back and I'll have to cut that one off. So I won't be able to get the standing knife in to pick it open. And this will seem a bit crazy, but even when you're cutting them off, always cut them at the tail end so that you can reuse it on another job, even though it's only half the length now. That will be the second time that one's been reused, I think. So then here's the stick. Here's the stick that I made. And that's the bit that holds on to the end of that rubber plug. And this is just to fit in snugly around. It's just a piece of kindling that I whittled with the pen knife into shape. But it did the job. That was for the cable tie to grip it there and there. And it lasted, I don't know, nearly a thousand miles at this stage, I'd say. No, it couldn't be. Maybe 500 miles. But you can see, as soon as I've taken it out then, this is basically a T-bone. It's a T-shaped piece with a rubber ball on each end. And that rubber ball's okay, and this one is actually, it's fine as well. It's just this 
plastic thing that goes in goes in here this had popped off the end and what was happening was with that off this just slides all over and depending on what gear it's in it's not getting the proper leverage on there so it's just just dancing about like that so what I've got to do now is it'll just crack off I'd say yeah there it is let's compare it to the new one so there's the old one it's just perished you know there's nothing it's probably 20 years old original Audi part Germany Audi 701 711 166 is the part number and I bought a cheap and cheerful equivalent off eBay and I guess this has to come in from the left because this end is the compressible end and then this silicone ball smaller of the two balls has to just pop in now this ball to me feels okay and it's on there and it's fine this ball over here also feels okay I've seen other videos on YouTube about how to replace these balls because this one here I think it's been I've seen one video where it just perished and then you were getting a really sloppy action up and down but this one looks in okay condition so I'm just going to leave it and keep the spare part for later so there's what the balls look very sunny so that's what the balls look like but I'm not going to use them today so I've got some silicone lubricant what I'll do is I'll put a dab all around that and then just put it into place and try and pop it in I guess I'm not really sure how to do it but hopefully it'll be obvious once I've done it Just a drop of that silicone lubricant. This is the stuff you normally use for sewer pipes. That's where I've got it from. But it's good for getting any of these slippy slidey things in and out. Now, somewhere in here, in behind, this is not a job for humans to do. Um, I'm gonna push this in from here, I think. I wonder what heating this up in a bucket of hot water do. To help. So anyways, the idea actually, what I'm going to describe first and see how easy it is. I have to force this ball into this socket. And even that is... Even that's easier said than done. So that ball should go in there like that, but that's, this has to be on the other side of this hole in here. And I can't see what I'm doing at all. My hands won't even reach it. Yep, yeah, I think I'm going to put it in some hot water, make it a bit softer. So while I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, I can show you what was happening. You put this back like this, because this is where it should stay, and I'll just run through the gears and show you how it pops out. I don't know what that looked like but I can see that the balls come right over to the left there so on the on the gear stick end it just had complete slop going from left to right up and down it felt positive enough but left to right it was just going all over the place and dancing around so I'll get the kettle now and we'll have a look so there it is in a cup of water floating away the bicycle spoke because it is boiling oh yeah it just turns to jelly straight away actually I wonder is that affected the it looks like it's deformed the uh, rubber a little bit which isn't great so I'm not going to put it back in there I might have shagged it you know these were only about three quid but it can't take hot water what sort of silicone bloody thing is it I wonder if that's perished it anyways better go straight for it then while it's hot while it's hot let's get that straight in there oh, I can't see what I'm doing Okay, feels like we're through. Got a bit of silicone on this ball. Liberal. Put some on the other ball just for good measure. And I'm gonna force this in here somehow. I'm not sure how really. I know it's in the right place. There, that's it. I'm not sure you're supposed to put it in and then wiggle it back. Try that too. Let's take this out. This thing won't, it won't come out now because it'll cool down on against the metal. Yeah. 
Something like a big vice grips across there. Maybe snap it back in. Clean my fingers first. Come on up there. She doesn't want to go now. Something like a massive grips to pull it together, but I don't think anything I have will do that. You never know though, through my selection of odd shaped vice grips, I had one which has a very wide reach. I think it's an oil filter vice grips. Put that on there. Open it up a bit more. Yeah, I'll pull this up a bit into position. It's too loose now, is it? A little bit. So what that's done there, it's just kicked this ball out the other end. That didn't work. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how to do this job now. I need to pull this ball off. Maybe, I don't really want to. It's frustrating. I'll put this back in if I can, now that it's cold and deformed. So I've had another moment there in what could be just considered to be tepid water and that's enough. I wouldn't use boiling water again if I get another one of these kits. Okay, so the ball's back in. And that's it there. Try and get the vice grips on the back of that ball, maybe. No, that's not in yet. up against it but it isn't in. Oh dear. Is that it? Feels like it might be in now. Yeah it feels about right. So let's have a look through these gears and see. It feels it feels right over there. So that's first, and I'll run through the rest of them. Feels all right going through the gears. It's always hard to know um, when you're when you don't have the engine running and you don't have the clutch on if it's working correctly. How smooth it is and that, but it seems okay. What I'll do is I don't really like how that's worked out. What I'll do is I'll order another one of those rubber ball sockets and keep it as a spare. I wouldn't put it in boiling water again, and then uh, I'll have those two other balls as spares. Like they only cost a few quid. And what I'll also do is I'll keep that stick as a spare with a few cable ties so that I can do this job again if I need to. Now this hose looks like it's fallen down here. That hose cable thing. See that metal spike there? That should go through that hole. Like that. And then this, this cable here looks like it should go in this clip here. And I don't think I pulled them out of the way but of course I may well have. Yeah, that's in there, in that little clip down there. That's a bit neater. All looks okay. That thing there, I think, is the reverse light switch. I think that's what that is. So that it turns on, when you click into reverse, it goes clunk and turns on that switch there. Just pushes a little pin into it or something. Right, that's it. Not much to it, really, when you do a job like this. But the video will be long enough, I'm sure. As I fumbled around a bit. If you've got a better way of doing this rather than the vice grips, um, let me know because I'm obviously not someone who does this every day. If it's been helpful, tell me in the comments. If not, tell me in the comments. Uh, if you've got any better ideas, tell me in the comments. Give me a like if you've gotten this far or a dislike and tell me why in the comments because that's helpful too. Other than that, thanks for watching. See you later.